Well, what is up, everybody? It's your boy here today, and we have to talk about this nonsense. Apparently, since the layoffs, Microsoft has laid off 10,000 employees. News that would not be news if that was any other sector besides video, my video games. Because gamers have to over-exaggerate things. 5% of their company was let off. Big whoop de do. Companies lay off employees every day, probably on a weekly basis. Let you know, it is news for this weekend, and people just went overboard with it, Sam. Game Pass is ruining the game. They love to slip in the Game Pass. <laughs> game Pass is the doom and gloom. Game Pass is the reason why Microsoft had to let these employees go. Game Pass is just evil. It's just evil, I tell you. <sighs> so it's just it's Sony fanboys have been going wild with this news right here. I'm just saying the most ridiculous theories possible. They're just so stupid. And it's surprising because people have so many complaints about 343. You'd be shocked that people are so surprised that people got to let go from 343. Even though the entire time Halo Infinite has been out, people have been complaining about 343. Myself, personally, I actually really enjoyed Halo Infinite. I enjoyed the single player. I don't really play multiplayer games. So I, I mainly play the single player mode. Enjoyed it. Had fun with the multiplayer for a little bit. The fun part that I did play it. But people were complaining nonstop about 343 in the Halo game. So I don't, I, people got to let go. It is what it is. I don't know why people are so butthurt about it, but, you know, people are over-exaggerating this. So much so that 343 had to make an official statement <laughs> from 343 themselves. Halo and Master Chief are here to stay. It was like, no duh. Why would they change? People were wanting Halo to go to another studio. Probably the people who made the Doom games, they've been referencing the, Dooms, the, the Doom developers. But it's like, why? Halo is fine to me. I don't know what the butterness is about the Halo franchise in general. I don't know. People are just mixing in and they, they don't like this multiplayer component. When it's like, this multiplayer is probably the most fluid it's ever been. Multiplayer and single player is the most fluid. The, the, probably the best controls ever had in, in the Halo franchise in general. And the story for the game was pretty good. I like the story for Halo Infinite. So I don't know what to complain about. Even when the game first released, even one of the um, player choice of the year awards from the Game Awards. It won like, if this game was now, they probably won a Game of the Year award. So... It's just like, it's just crazy how it was praised so much when it came out. Then after a while, then after probably like two or three months, people just started hating on it consistently. It's just crazy. But they got to let you know, which they really shouldn't, that Halo Halo is going to be in three for three hands from now on. I don't see what's wrong with that. I enjoy their games. I know people just over exaggerate the hate for Halo. But as long as it's not, it's not going to be the equivalent of... um. <laughs> It's not going to be kill zone as this person has stated, or turn like Resistance franchise from Sony's f first person sci-fi shooters. Then I'm completely fine with it. <laughs> it's like uh, people just have this affinity for the Bungie trilogy that they made so much so that they just want to crap on three four three. But I have enjoyed the games that three four three has made. I still look forward to more of their games. I, like I don't see what the big deal is, but um, maybe suit should have taken up pay cut rather than taking jobs from the folks following orders oh blah 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 this um what is this what do you want to call that uh <laughs> what's the nice way of saying this the pr speaker said is these uh open i don't know i don't know i don't know what the phrasing is but the people who are so just saddened by people being let go it's like that's life people get let go move on dust your shoes dust your feet off and move on get a new job get a backup plan it's like it's time to move on like i said if this was any other it could be like amazon like go with twenty thousand people would anybody care nope nobody would care but because it's microsoft people have to make this a big deal and see how game pass is just ruining gaming because people got let go it's like it's just ridiculous at this point um halo must cheaper here to stay three for three industries will continue to develop halo now okay got it astronomical w I, I just want to see these people who just hate halo like what do you hate about halo the multiplayer component like you gotta gr gripe with the multiplayer component sure because i didn't focus on that but it's not like the people who just hate on halo the, the current halo they're, they, they're just so vague on what they hate about the current halo like what do you hate about the current halo you hate the single player mode you hate the multiplayer mode because you hate the single player mode i don't see how that's possible because the game was fantastic single player while so Multiplayer wise, I'm like, and didn't they give you the forge mode in the co-op? I've been keeping up with this multiplayer news, but I'm pretty sure they added everything that was missing. So I don't know what the big deal is now. I, I really just don't get it. Um, 
So yeah, IGN reported on it as well. Continue to develop stories and experiences. Not so much. Halo was a mess. Halo was a mess. How was Halo a mess? Like, what competition is doing better than Halo? We see in the competition from Sony's end when each other do a sci-fi shooter, both those franchises are dead and gone. So it's like, really? Halo is a mess, though. Okay. Halo needs a new dev team. Once again, it's super vague. I wish any of these haters would say what they have a problem with hate with Halo and three four three. What problem do they have? Or just don't be vague. Just don't say three four three sucks. Give me a thorough explanation why they suck. It's like I really want to get. I just really want to see any of these haters give an explanation why. Franchise is doomed. Then they haven't been good stewards of the IP. Oh man. Show me the competition. Show me the equivalent space sci-fi shooter that has a multiplayer and a single-player component. That's actually good. Not Destiny, because I think this was like a multiplayer, but actual space sci-fi first SP FPS shooter. What's the competition they have? Please show me that. And do they put as much effort as the slight amount of effort as Halo does? It's like really. R.I.P. Halo. I mean, no one's gonna play it really. No one's gonna really play it anymore, so. I don't think you guys played it to begin with. I think a lot of these people are just haters who haven't played it to begin with. We really don't really care about Halo in general. They just want to hate on Xbox. 343 hasn't made a Halo game yet. I think he's trying to say 343 hasn't made a great Halo game yet. But they have tried three or four times. Funny how none of this hate was there for the first two months of this game being released. <laughs> it's just funny. It's just like, that now it's just like Halo. We hate Halo now, but none of this was there the first two to three months this game was out. It's just interesting. I, I, it feels like people are just sheep, just ganging up on kicking this studio wands down. It's like when you look at the competition that's in the same genre or same style of game, there's no competition right now. So, what are you talking about? PlayStation fans said Halo dead. If Halo was on the PlayStation, they would not say that right now. Yeah, if this is if Halo was on PlayStation, as they foolishly was making stupid claims that because they bought Bungie, Halo's gonna be on PlayStation. They were super happy back then, <laughs> but now they just saying, "Hey, Halo sucks because it's on Xbox." But if it was on PlayStation, they'd be kissing his butt right now, pretty much. Infinite is literally still really fun though. Yeah, I have fun when I play Infinite. I don't see what the big deal is. Like, why are people so angry about this game? Saying 343 shouldn't be, be the studio head anymore. Um, I don't know why people are complaining. Halo 4 is absolutely superb and still looks in place brilliantly to this day. Halo 4, 5, and the Infinite was great. I didn't. I don't see what the big deal is. Sure, my favorite one is Halo 3, but the other games have been pretty spot on too. Like, I don't. I don't see where all this hate is coming from. Um, especially shite stories and god awful multiplayer experiences there I fix it yes the stories are just horrible multiplayer experience is bare bones for the one they just launched doesn't sound good to me I mean with this Halo they did experiment with the multiplayer mode it's like people want people to it's, it's just weird because people don't want these, these games to stay the same but when they take a risk they take a big risk to make it a free to play and that a game is a service thing and people are upset with it. It's like they took a risk. Get over it. It's like they might make the next game traditional. They might stick with this games as a service model. But it's like people are way too angry over this. In all honestly, my opinion. It's like if you don't like it, you can play other stuff. You can do a thousand other games out there that you could play. It's like I just don't get. I just don't get all this anger. It's just really bizarre to me. When have they created an epic story? Halo 3 and Reach were the last games that mattered. Yes, none of the other games after Reach had great stories, according to this guy. I was like, this is stupid. Uh, that sucks. 343 ruined Halo. We were so close to, being se to seeing the franchise be given to a studio that actually cares. Once again, I'm just I'm just like kind of losing brain cells reading some of these comments, but I don't know. I didn't have all this hatred for Halo, the Halo campaign modes, which I mostly play those over the multiplayer. I didn't dislike these single player campaigns that people are just making out to be like they're just saying, "Hey, three four three Halo campaigns are just so bad." I'm not saying I have fun with each one of them, and I enjoyed Infinite as well, so I don't get all the hate. But 
Team Fortnite wants, wants to let you know that hey, haters can suck it. <laughs> They're still making Halo games feel like it too bad. Which is kind of it's kind of stupid. They gotta announce this really, like really, they really need to make an announcement about this dumbass crap, this dumb stuff right here. But I don't know. I'm gonna conclude it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. Leave a like, like this video, and as always, thanks for watching and peace.